everyone! Today we'll be reviewing the national flag of the Bahamas. The review will be done using the five basic principles of flag design as outlined in the book Good Flag, Bad Flag, written by Ted Kay and published by the North American Vexillological Association. Here is a quick rundown of the five principles. We will review the flag under each principle and give a score out of 10 for each. At the end, we will calculate the average score of the five principles, which will give us the overall final score for the flag. Let's begin. Before we get into the five principles, we need to discuss a subject of confusion regarding the flag. The confusion has to do with the flag's colors, namely the blue and yellow. There are a number of interpretations as to what the exact color should be. Here are three versions we've come across. The blue in each is different. Some sources describe the blue as aquamarine, which is the color in version 3. The yellow is the same for version 1 and 3. The flag we'll be using is version 1, the reason being that these colors have been defined in documentation of the Bahamian government. And now for the review. The flag consists of three horizontal stripes of blue, yellow, and blue. It also has a black equilateral triangle on the hoist side of the flag, the side nearest the flagpole. It's a simple design that uses only basic geometric shapes and is easy to draw from memory. For this principle, the flag gets 10 out of 10. The flag was designed by Dr. Hervis Bain and the flag was officially adopted in 1973. The blue stands for the water surrounding the country. The yellow stands for the sun and land resources. The black symbolizes the strength, vigor, and force of the people, while the triangle shape symbolizes the enterprising and determined nature of the people to cultivate the country's resources. The flag has a good mix of symbolism between the people and the country's natural features. One issue is that some of the elements represent more than one thing, which means the flag loses out on top marks. For this principle, the flag gets 8 out of 10. The flag has three colors, black, blue, and yellow. All three are part of the standard color set. Regarding contrast, we have an issue with the blue and black, two dark colors which share two different borders with each other. The yellow contrasts well with the black and blue. While the flag gets perfect marks for the number of colors, it loses marks for contrast. Overall for color, the flag gets 8 out of 10. The flag has no lettering, seals, or coat of arms. For this principle, the flag scores 10 out of 10. Currently, there are 17 sovereign countries that have a triangle on the hoist side of their flag. Some of those also have three horizontal stripes in their field, just like the Bahamas. However, none of these flags come close to the Bahamas in terms of color layout. The flag of the Bahamas is very distinctive and no other sovereign country looks like it in overall appearance. It's very difficult to confuse this flag for that of another country. For this principle, the flag gets 10 out of 10. So now we've reviewed the flag on each of the five principles. We're going to add the scores and divide by five to get the average. So for the national flag of the Bahamas, we get a final score of 9.2 out of 10.